Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Scott Giacomucci. I'm the director and founder of the Phoenix Center for Experiential Trauma Therapy in Media, Pennsylvania. I'm board certified in sociometry, psychodrama, and group psychotherapy, and an expert in traumatic stress. I'm really excited that you found this video, and I hope that you find it helpful in your work. So this video is part of an ongoing video series to promote my newly published book, Social Work, Sociometry, and Psychodrama, Experiential Approaches for Group Therapists, Community Leaders, and Social Workers. And this video is going to be devoted to Chapter 4 in the book, which is titled, Social Work Philosophy Encounters Moranian Philosophy. So the first half of this video, we're going to explore Moranian philosophy, and in the second half of the video, we'll be looking at social work core values as they relate to Moreno's philosophy and the practice of sociometry and psychodrama. Now we touched upon spontaneity, which is uh, really also core to Moranian philosophy. Uh, Moreno's spontaneity creativity theory is psychodrama's theory of change. And so we believe as psychodramatists that spontaneity is what creates change. Not uh, new insights or changing thought patterns or behavioral modification or catharsis or free association. But spontaneity is the curative agent in psychodrama. And in psychodrama, spontaneity is defined as a, this sort of energy, unconservable energy, that allows us to have adequate responses to new situations and new, novel responses to old, reoccurring situations. So spontaneity in psychodrama is not so much related to impulsivity, it's more so related to uh, competence, or to skillful living, having adequate and new responses in life. And so again, this is the, the curative agent in psychodrama. So. Uh, Moreno believed that spontaneity and creativity were twin concepts, that they went hand in hand, that spontaneity awoken creativity, that spontaneity was the energy that promoted new responses, and that creativity was what allowed us to create something new, to create a new idea, to create and generate a new response and put it into action, to create a new publication to create a new organization, to create a piece of art. So spontaneity and creativity go hand in hand. Uh, Moreno even created a map, uh, a depiction of tapping into spontaneity and creativity. And this map is called the Canon of Creativity. And when we look at the Canon of Creativity here, you can see spontaneity and creativity in the middle there. But the the biggest part of the image is this circle and spiral along the outside of the cannon. And so this is the warming up process. And on this other side over here we have the cultural conserve. So the cultural conserve is a term Moreno created and it, it means basically everything that already exists things that were created previously that are at our disposal. So all of the ideas that have already been created, all of the music and art that's already been generated, books that have already been published, research that's already available, um, objects, everything that already exists in the second universe is part of the cultural conserve. And when we're warming up to new change, we start with the cultural conserves available to us as a foundation for our warming up process. So for example, while we're uh, writing, while I'm writing uh, the book that we're talking about today, the cultural conserves that inform my warm up were all of the things that had already been written about psychodrama, everything that's already published about social work, my own experiences as a psychodramatist and as a clinical social worker, the few publications at the time that had been published about the intersection of Moreno's work and of psychodrama, 
These were the cultural conserves that were informing my warm-up. And as I moved through the warming up process, at some point we tap into spontaneity, that energy that allows us to generate new adequate responses. And that spontaneity is met with creativity and a new idea emerges. Uh, in the example we're using here, a new book emerges. And that book becomes part of the cultural conserve going forward. So this is how we move around and through the canon as it relates to creation, really, the creation of something new. And so this canon of creativity is a map for change, for tapping into change. It's a map for, you could think of it as a clinical map for internal change or social change, interpersonal change. You could think of it of a map, you could think of it as a map for larger macro change. And I think the the key takeaway, one of the key takeaways, is the emphasis on the warming up process. That uh, Moreno writes that the spontaneity is the oper operationalization of the warming up process. That we can't tap into spontaneity or creativity without a warm up. That we always, always, always need to start with a warming up process. And so I think this is uh, one of the most important things that informs my work as a psychodramatist and, and really everything I do is emphasizing the warming up process. And this is particularly true when working with trauma survivors who might need an extended warming up process as opposed to working with other clients or populations. And we can talk more about that in some of the other videos here. So, um, the canon of creativity, this is a, a really core and foundational aspect of Moranian philosophy. Uh, while we're talking about spontaneity, there's a couple other nuances to Moreno's spontaneity theory that I also wanted to outline. Moreno talked about different forms of spontaneity. Uh, he described something called pathological spontaneity. And this is defined as having new responses that are inadequate to the situation at hand, whereas healthy spontaneity is new and adequate responses. So you could think of chaos or impulsivity as being related to pathological spontaneity. He also wrote about a deficiency of spontaneity, and this, this would be a, a lack of that energy, that healthy spark that promotes uh, aliveness and promotes new responses and adequate responses uh, to situations at hand. I think Moreno's spontaneity theory really fits well with uh, some of the ideas from interpersonal neurobiology and from uh, Dan Siegel about conceptualizing mental health and, and really social health. Uh, Siegel suggests that we could think of health, all forms of health, mental health, social health, uh, well-being, functioning, as being in the balance between two extremes. On one extreme, we have uh, chaos, and this would be pathological spontaneity in the Moranian uh, philosophy. And on the other extreme, we have rigidity or order. And this would be a deficiency of spontaneity in psychodrama philosophy. And in the middle is where we have health and healthy spontaneity. And uh, some have suggested that all social issues, all issues in society, all mental health issues, emotional issues, relationship issues, all problems are characterized by too much chaos or pathological spontaneity, or too much rigidity, a deficiency of spontaneity. So Moranian uh, ideas really fit well and seem to be echoed throughout some of the new interpersonal neurobiology and psychology theories. Now, another important aspect related to the neurobiology research and spontaneity that seems to validate um, Moreno's suggestion a hundred years ago 
that spontaneity was spiritual in nature, mystic, uh, mystical. Uh, remember, Moreno said that, that God is spontaneity. Uh, he, he looked at it through an existential and mystical lens. In some of the more recent neurobiology research, they found that when they take a brain scan of someone who's having a, a religious experience or a peak experience, a spiritual experience, and look at the parts of the brain that are active and how they're activated, it looks identical to brain scans when somebody is performing a new task and facing a novel situation. And so when we remember Marina's definition of spontaneity, that it's both a mystical experience and it has to do with adequate and new responses to, to new situations, uh, we find some overlap here, that some of the new neurobiology research actually supports Moreno's belief that spontaneity has a mystical and spiritual aspect to it. So if you found this video, I encourage you to check out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel here. I hope that you did find it helpful. Feel free to uh, reach out to me if you have further questions. Um, there's a lot more content about um, all of these ideas within chapter four of my book, Social Work, Sociometry, and Psychodrama. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe if you want to be updated about uh, future videos. Subscribe to the channel here or to leave a comment below uh, about what you found helpful or what you'd like to learn more about for future videos. Uh, we really take some of your comments and feedback into consideration when thinking about uh, future videos that we create.